Okay guys, welcome back to SQLite. Probably could have guessed it. I think probably the last 30 videos or so on this channel have been SQLite. I've really been enjoying this. Hopefully you find some use out of these videos. And today we're going to go over probably a real world situation. But before we get started, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. I really would appreciate it. It's probably gonna be a pretty chill, pretty quick video. I'm a little bit sleepy. But I mentioned this in the last video, which, by the way, if you want to go check it out, we talked about the escape character when using the like. But I talked about how in the database I misspelled the column manufacture. Manufacture, uh, though it sounds like how it's spelled here, there's an R between the U and the E, unfortunately. So we're going to write up a little SQL to update the column name. And that's all we're doing in this video. And we can do this in multiple ways. We can continue to do stuff in Python like we've been doing, or we can do it directly in the database management software. The one I'm using specifically is uh, DB Browser for SQLite. And we're just going to do it in here because I don't really see it necessary to do this in Python. I mean, you, all you have to do is take the SQL we write here and paste it into a Python cursor execute, and then you have it once you commit. But let's just do it in here. We're going to go to the execute SQL tab and to rename a column, we're going to start with the alter table command. So it starts with alter table and then the table name specifically that we're going to alter. In our case, it's going to be cars. And I'm going to go to the database structure here and expand cars. And I'm going to copy. I'll just hit control C right here after we have manufacturer highlighted. I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not, um, but I go back to paste and it actually does copy the name of the column, which is kind of cool. So we're going to alter the table cars. And what we're going to do, we're going to rename column. And then this is where we enter the old value. So the current value before we make the change. So in our case, manufacturer without the R between the U and the E. And then we say two. And then what we want to name that column, which will look something like this, right? And that's it. Let's go ahead and run the SQL. Execution finished without any errors. If we go back to browse the data, now we look at the column name here at the top and manufacturer is spelled appropriately. So I'm gonna write these changes and that way it saves to our local SQLite database. And that's how you can update the column name in SQLite via SQL. I'm sure you could do it in the database structure as well. If we open tables and right click on cars and I were to modify, I could probably go down here and change the name to whatever I want it to be. But we do it the old fashioned way. We're going to do it via SQL, not through the GUI. And yeah, that's how you can do it. Hopefully, uh, if you had this specific question, it's been answered. And in the next video, I think we're going to do updates. So stay tuned for update statements. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it.